Hey guys, what's hanging? What's good? What's Gucci? So this is packing for my dad's one-on-one. -on -one. Every every other Friday, I walk home. Well, I stayed home today because I'm sick, but I walk home and I come in. I just flop down on my bed and I'm like, I'm going to my dad's tomorrow. I need to hurry up and pack. I do my little happy dance because I am leaving my mom and going to my bed. So this is what I do. Get a little nice little walk. Actually, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm the little. So, the little. So. Doing my. Love bag because I love going to my dad's. So, you would not love bag because I love going to my dad's. Woo. Huh? Walk into my disgusting room that seriously needs cleaning, but so excited. Huh? Lord knows what cleaner it is. The great thing about being sick, get an advantage. Don't gotta do anything. Lay on the couch, on my phone, on YouTube, and I'm happy. All, all kinds of happy. So. Why is it a letter? Okay, so apparently there's a letter in here. I don't know what the heck this is. Oh, oh no, 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 not this letter. All right, so this letter, oh, oh God, not what I needed. Anyway, so this letter, you're like, literally, I'm just going to, I have to do it right here. Luckily, this letter is a letter because... Whenever my dad first told me, not my dad, whenever my sister first told me that she was going to go with my dad, I wrote her this letter and I said, and it says, To Maddie from Tennessee, and it says, Dear Maddie, I will miss you when you're gone. You helped me. You have to be. be you have became my best friend since I was born. Since I was born. Although you're mad at Mama, just remember I will always love you, Love Kinsey. And that, and like every time my mom comes into my room, I hide this from her. And I then one day I was like, it disappeared, and I was like, where did it go? It's been in this bag. Oh my God. Well, that's fun. But. Get to pack in. Uh, I like doing a little story time while I'm packing. So, <laughs> let's see. Story time. So, <laughs> my cousin, Nathan, he, okay, so I have a cousin, Nathan, and Nathan was in my class at the time, too. And he always sat beside me, and he liked to yank on my hair. And one day, I got so sick of it, and I turned around and I said, Duh, and I said, pull my hair again, and I will punch you in the throat. All right? And then, um, he, what did he do? He pulled my ponytail. And so my reaction was I turned around, and I cried, chopped him in the throat. And he, <laughs> he fell in the floor, because he couldn't breathe. And he looked at the teacher and said, are you not going to do anything? She just hit me in the throat. And my teacher's reaction was the best. She said, well, she warned you. <laughs> my teacher's the best. I love my teacher. So, yes. That's my little story time. Oh, my God. Can you not? Thank you. Please don't. Then I got my little <laughs> slay the day socks because you know.
there's no drama at my dad's house. So at my dad's house, I always pack my Save the Drama for your mama because there's no drama at my dad's house. Because they all just a happy, nice family. Me, my sister, my stepbrother, and my stepmom, my dad. And if my stepsister that is college comes over to visit us, whenever I'm there, then yeah. Bunches, bunches. I literally, whenever I'm packing for my dad, this is literally what I do. Open the lid and I uh, throw it in there. I literally like throw that in there. Like straight up throw it in there. Anyway. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another story time. Oh my god. Okay, so I was six at the time, and so it was Christmas Eve night. Yeah, it was no, yeah, it was Christmas Eve night, and um, I could not sleep at all, and I was, and so I had my coloring book in my room that was laying on my bed and my crayons were in the living room so I walked into the living room and all I saw was a dark tall shadow and I thought somebody was breaking and it was at the door and I thought somebody was like breaking into the house so my first reaction was like to silently jump on the couch and like hide away from the door like say you're on the door the couch is right here so what I did was I did like this to jump on the couch, but I didn't jump on the couch fast enough, and the dark shadow turned around at me, and I, we, me and the dark shadow made eye connection, and I just like sat, froze, scream on the top of my lungs, like, screamed my head off, like I was freaking out, like I was shaking so bad, like I was literally shaking, and like, I was screaming and shaking so bad, I like, fell to the ground, and I like, stayed on the ground, and I froze, and I, I could, and I was like, trying to get back up, I was like, oh god, oh god, and I finally got back up, and then the dark shadow picked me up, and I, and my, it was like my mom, and it was my mom, and I pushed off my mom, because it still looked like a dark shadow to me, and I had to take like, seven double looks, and I was like, making sure my dad and my sister walked out of their their rooms and was like what is going on and i was like i thought i was about to die today <laughs> i thought i was about to die today and i was like not today Satan." <laughs> but i can't even describe like how scared i was like whenever i tell you how i was screaming that wasn't even close to how it was. Like, it was pretty terrible. <laughs> like, you had, it was like one of those things you had to be there for it because it's not like you cannot describe my reaction. Like, again, you had to be there for it. And I was like, oh, I was like, not today, Satan. Not today. I'm not dying today. So, bye bye. Leave us my home, the unwanted. Leave my home, the unwanted body. <laughs> okay. uh, this is not like a long time ago. This was literally last night. It was not a long time ago. But I was on the phone with my best friend, Nazarian, right? So that day, he came up and he, to, like, I had... One of my, I wouldn't call us friends, like, we hate each other. Like, we, me and Colton, we hate each other, but we make each other laugh our heads off. So, he sits in front of me, and then Zachary sits beside me, right? And then Nazarian walks up, and he comes up to me, and then Colton kind of stares at me, and then he gives me, and then Nazarian gives me his phone number, and... <laughs> So we had that dance that night. So when I left the dance, I hugged Nigerian and I said, like I hugged him and I said, bye, I'll see you. I was like, bye, I'll call you. T um, I was like, bye, I'll call you tonight. 
And so that night I called him. It was like five o'clock in the afternoon, right? But it was like freezing in my house. So I bundled, I bundled up with all the pillows and like all the blankets and had my heater beside me. And I got so comfortable, I about fell asleep. And I was like, I'm gonna fall asleep. And he was like, please don't fall asleep. Please don't fall asleep. And he was like, like he literally was sat there. And he was like, please don't fall asleep. And like, like full on harmonized. And I was like, I was like, I don't have to fall asleep. And he was like, please don't fall asleep. And I was like, I won't fall asleep. He was like, I won't fall asleep. And then we both got silent for one second. When we both got silent for that one second, I fell asleep. <laughs> It was hilarious, um, and I and I slept for three hours. It was so fun. So that was quite fun. And then, so my friend Maddie, y'all see Maddie, right? Yeah. So she was with her boyfriend Grayson, and Grayson was like. You and Azir would be such a cute couple. And I was like, me and Azir are not a couple. Like, sorry, I got somebody. He ain't mine, all right? Right? I was like, he ain't mine. I got somebody already. And, and then, there's this guy, me and my friend Maddie, we call him stupid. So, I like, we've gotten to the point where we call him stupid so much. We've, like, forgotten his name, right? So, I'm just going to say stupid. <laughs> so, stupid was, like, he has always said, because me and Nazarian made this plan. When we ever, whenever we're adults, we're, like, 21, we all move to Los Angeles, be roommates, because I'm already moving to Los Angeles, because my sister's going to move to Los Angeles. So, I'm moving, being her neighbor, right there. And... So, me and Azarian are going to be roommates, and he was like, yeah, sure, y'all are going to sleep in separate beds, and I was like, yeah, we're going to sleep in separate beds, and he was like, yeah, sure, I was like, roommates, sleep in separate beds, and he was like, yeah, sure, you don't sleep in separate beds, and then <laughs> Nazarian said something, <laughs> don't know if I quite want to say it, but if y'all are in my class, y'all know, which I'm pretty sure everybody watching this is in my class, <laughs> Y'all know what Nazarian said. <laughs> he, but, um, I'm just gonna, honestly, I'm just gonna say it anyway. He came up, grabbed my arm like this, and he grabbed my arm like this, and he was like, hey, McKenzie, you're gonna get married, have some kids, go to, go to bed, go to sleep, wake up, and eat some pancakes at Waffle House, eat some syrup, drink some Starbucks, and I was like, Alrighty, that sounds like a plan. And then I told stupid what Nazarian said, and he was like, see, I, and I said, we're going to get married. And he was like, see, I told you, told you y'all were going to get married. And then um, I got to the part where I said, we're going to get in bed and go to sleep. And he was like, see, I told you, I told you, but not listen, but I told you. And I was like, can you please just shut up? But yeah, that was my story time. I'm done packing. See y'all in the next video, which I'm going to be at my dad's house. So, bye.